Learn the art of investing on MoneyWise. Much has been really said and written about the transformative powers of artificial intelligence and machine learning in various businesses. The area of asset management is no exception at all. And today we've decided to help you understand how AI is going to be leveraged in achieving your investment goals. Welcome to the Money Wise Podcast. This is Sheetal. And we've got with us someone who's so into his field that he, uh, when I asked him about his other interests and hobbies, he actually said, I might not have any others because I'm so deeply into what I do. I'm so passionate about applied mathematics and analytics. And his colleagues tell me that he is truly, truly into actually looking and being consumed uh, by the idea of finding different ways of looking at analytics and uh, data. So we've got with us Dr. Vikash Raj very interesting personality, head of business analytics and intelligence at IDFC AMC with more than 20 years of work experience in the areas that I'd mentioned a while ago in the investment industry. Welcome to the show and how are you? Thank you, Sheetal. I'm fine. Thanks for recording this session with me. Since you're a person from the area of the asset management business who uses really a lot of AI, please tell us if this is really a reality as far as investment and investors are concerned or are we looking at some very nascent sort of stages where it's more high not too much meat actually when you talk about business any business if you talk about ai has already got in roads into all the businesses that are there at this point of time and asset management is not an exception at all Mm -hmm. so ai is definitely not a hype it's a reality and when i say this uh, i remember that uh, ai has already come into each of us lives hmm. when you get up in the morning and then when you try to open your mobile phone using your face hmm. or when you try to put your thumb and open your mobile phone that is ai when yeah. you are trying to get your uber booked and you find out that the nearest cab is only three minutes away that is the power of ai when you're driving back home and you look at uh, the google map and tell your wife that i'll be back home in exactly 35 minutes that is what is the power of ai Mm -hmm. when you land up at the uh, airport in an aeroplane and you get to know that the outside temperature is 35 degrees centigrade Mm -hmm. and your favorite football team is playing in that town and it starts in next one hour Mm -hmm. that is the power of ai so ai has the power to personalize information to you Mm -hmm. and it has crept in each of our lives people Mm -hmm. are not realizing that they are being serviced by ai Mm -hmm. Uh, But AI is already taking place and going forward, it's going to percolate down to the uh, newest and latest aspects of business. It's going to service the the customers in the most optimum way. Um, How would you articulate for us this ability that AI has, has been touted to have, to transform the way we invest? What will it do for us or what is it already doing for us? So the investment world also, the ability to our uh, advisors are limited because they can connect with limited set of people in the limited time frame which they get. So AI can help you a lot and give you the nudges at the right time, at Mm -hmm. the right moment, with the right context. And it will also help you execute your transaction. So if you are looking at your bank balance and trying to do a payment, AI will be able to guide you that, okay, if you make this payment, which is not a mandatory expense for you, you may miss your SIP. If you are trying to hit the redemption button in your uh, for your schemes redemptions, it will be able to tell you that, okay, this is going to result in a big uh, short term capital uh, gains, which will have to pay tax. And this is not a good idea from the tax harvesting perspective. So mm-hmm. at any instance, when you are taking a wrong decision, maybe because of some of the emotions that overpowers your decision and you are going to take a wrong decision, AI will come into into effect and it will try to nudge you that, hey, uh, this is not the right time to take this decision. And it will communicate in a manner on a platform that it will be most uh, effective. Moreover, mm-hmm. If you see the new millennial class of the population which we are serving today, everybody is having a handphone and they are more or less a DIY, DIY kind of an investor. So the, the ability of uh, AI to reach out to each and every individual and provide them the most personalized service at the palm top at the right time 
with a context which is very very relevant to them from their personal uh, uh, behavior perspective as well as market perspective is the magic which ai can bring and it can revolutionize the the way investors take their investment decision and manage their portfolio they rebalance the portfolio at the right point of time with the right decision they can identify the right uh, investment avenue which matches their risk appetite and help them better time the investment decision so mm. ai is definitely going to help each and every individual and mm. it's going to make them more and more efficient in terms of their money management so mm. i feel this ai is going to transform the way indian uh, population or the world population is going to look at investments and savings mm. and uh, it's going to uh, make their experience of investing much much better and mm. it's going to even mobilize them to use uh, their savings in the most optimum manner you were talking at length about how uh, or the transformative powers of ai and i realized i didn't ask you the fundamental question in the context of uh, asset management how would you define ai what is ai for us so the the ai means artificial intelligence where a machine takes decision when the machine gets the ability to synthesize the information which is flowing all around and mm-hmm. take decision which is actionable that is what is called ai so many times ai is also uh, called as machine learning where a machine learns from the data which is all around the information which is all around the environment which is all around and it takes action based on those information that is what is called ai Mm-hmm. so ai is normally multiple types they they are supervised learning they are unsupervised learning so mostly ai is a, is a single objective algorithm mm-hmm. wherein we tell the machine that uh, this is the output uh, which we want and then we train the machine mm-hmm. based on millions of data points explaining them what to look at mm-hmm. uh, in those data and what outcome to look at and then when the machine is exposed to similar situations and ask the question how what should be the output and what should be the decision that we should take at this point of time it comes out with the most relevant and optimum answer to that question so ai is the ability to synthesize huge amount of data based on the past experience which machine has been imparted and comes out with the most effective and relevant uh answer to the question is what is artificial intelligence broadly speaking you're listening to money wise successful investment ideas that create wealth did you know according to sebi there are 1.85 crore mutual fund investors in the country as of this year among these investors with income below rupees 5 lakh constitute 70% and account for 29% of the assets of the mutual fund industry investors with an income of more than 1 crore accounted for 31% of the mutual fund aum personal finance simplified only on moneywise I know you've touched upon uh, this aspect of value that AI will add to the you know uh, whole space we are in but specifically if you were to tell us how AI is going to benefit investors how they are going to or what is it that they can expect AI to deliver to them what would you say uh, Dr Vikash See when you talk about investors what problems do they face hmm. So the first problem which they face is when somebody asks them what is the risk appetite that you have how much risk you can take Okay. and then there are certain other decisions which investor has to take in terms of how much to invest where to invest how to rebalance the portfolio so when i defined uh, ai and machine learning i told you that the machine has the ability to synthesize huge amount of data and the way you have behaved in the past so mm-hmm. based on your investment uh, decisions that you have taken in the past with reference to the stock market or debt market and other market parameters ai will be able to synthesize exactly what is your risk appetite how do you behave uh, vis-a-vis different market uh, indicators whenever they change so ai will be able to understand you better than yourself what mm-hmm. is your risk appetite 
and based on your risk appetite ai will be able to understand what product will suit your risk appetite in the best manner and secondly whenever it comes to the calculation of amount how much amount has to be invested how it has to be diversified uh, there are certain techniques in mathematics which we call it maybe if i have to use some technical terms like var cover matrix to be used to optimize that portfolio these things otherwise will take huge amount of effort by an advisor or an analyst to understand how to optimize your portfolio but these things could be done by machine immediately it can immediately understand what is your risk appetite which all product will uh, fit your uh, risk appetite how to rebalance your portfolio how much amount to be invested where to be invested whether this opportunity is the right opportunity based on your risk appetite based on your behavior based on your knowledge of the market is something which can be done by machine in seconds these are the services which will be brought to uh, an investor and help him take right decision at the right time so the decisions would be taken by the machine based on the guidance of an advisor the mm-hmm. uh, the thought process the framework which the algorithm will be using will be that of the advisor but it will come to the investor the analysis of the investment behavior analysis of the risk appetite of the investor would be done in seconds by machine Mm. So I think this is how investors are going to benefit. This is an area, the area of anything, in fact, uh, to do with one's own money, essentially is something that is built in with trust. We expect to engage with people who we trust at a very visceral, a very human sort of um, a level. Now, in this sort of a scenario, when it comes to advisory services, especially, uh, how do you think people are going to react to a machine or artificial intelligence taking my decisions or engaging with me vis-a-vis this nice, warm human being with a smile on it? Is it going to be a threat to advisors? How do you see the space evolve? See, AI is not something which machine takes uh, over human being. Human mm-hmm. being controls the output of an AI. So whenever the training is imparted to a machine, uh, we give them something which we call it labeled data, wherein we tell machine that this is the situation and this is the outcome. So machine is always operating under the supervision of humans. So okay. it's a man and machine collaboration uh, mm-hmm. based on which the data output comes. So I've told you that machine in our business practices, we tell machine that what is the decision point that we are looking at and mm-hmm. then we supervise the learning of the machine. Currently, mm-hmm. whatever whatever algorithms that we use, it's not something which is augmented by the system itself. Right. We are imparting training to the algorithm and it's under complete supervision of human being what uh, training and what output to look at and machine does uh, those those learning by itself so the ability of machine is to synthesize data at a much faster speed hmm. and it has the ability to remember all the instances and correlate it with the outcome in a much faster and much efficient manner. So hmm. we use that uh, feature of machine. Hey, Dr. Vikash, how does one keep abreast of the changes that are happening in this? What should I be reading on a daily basis or do I not have to bother with any of that? I hmm. believe you don't have to bother. Did you learn how to uh, use AI while opening your mobile phone? You did not. Did you learn how to put your thumb impression and use AI uh, to open the mobile phone? You did not. The AI will come automatically to you. It's going to facilitate you without you bothering to learn. That is the beauty of AI. You Mm. only have to be accepting the changes which are coming. You have to see the the nudges that comes to you and Mm. you have to act accordingly. Thank you so much, Dr. Vikash, for joining us today and helping us understand the different ways in which AI is going to transform asset management and all that we do. It's been great chatting with you. My pleasure, Sita. Thank you very much. You're listening to MoneyWise, brought to you by IDFC Mutual Funds. Check out the rest of our series for more investment advice. Mutual fund investments are subject to market risks. Read all scheme-related documents carefully.